5 Active Filipino World Champions in Boxing Part 1 Manny Pacquiao has set the standard of Philippine boxing, and he made it known to the world by being arguably the best ever. Basta Sports, J. Melo. Basta Sports, J. Melo. Basta Sports, J. Melo. Basta Sports, J. Melo. Basta Sports, J. Mello. That's what I follow. Basta Sports, J. Mello. Welcome to our daily dose of boxing videos. Although we could hardly see a new Pacquiao, he left with such passion for our boxes, and it paid off. Mark Magnifico Magseo, one of his protégé, has become the latest Filipino active boxers to win a world title. And now, the Philippines have five active world champions. Mark Magnifico Magsail. MMM is a featherweight, and with his latest win, he is now 24-0. Let's take a lot back on his last two fights. On August the 21st, 2021, Magseo fought Julio C. High in a WBC featherweight championship eliminator, with the winner earning the right to confront defending champion Gary Russell Jr. He won the fight by knockout in the 10th round which was named the Knockout of the Year 2021 by the Premier Boxing Champions. The WBC ordered Gary Russell Jr. to defend his featherweight title against Magsail on September the 21st, 2021. Magseo won the title by a landslide. Magseo won the fight 115, 113 on two judges scores, while the third judge scored it a 114, 114 draw. Nanito Filipino Flash, Donare, Donare is a no-brainer future Hall of Famer, but his we thought his career was already on a downfall, he defied it. Oh. 
Donaire fought for the WBC Bantamweight title against Nordina Bali on May 29, 2021, at the Dignity Health Sports Park in Carson, California. Donaire scored two knockdowns in the third round, before completing the fight with the hook straight uppercut combination in the fourth round. The referee waved off the count handing Donaire the victory and making him the oldest fighter to win a world title in the bantamweight division, at 38 years old. <music> Jerwin and Kajas. On September 3, 2016, he fought McJoe Arroyo to become the IBF Junior Bantamweight Champion. For the bout, and Kajas received only $3,750. He had an 11-bout winning streak when he entered the battle. And Kajas outboxed Arroyo and dropped him in the 8th round to win by unanimous decision. He then made its successful title defense, and the ninth took place last year, and Kajas was scheduled to make his ninth and title defense against Jonathan Javier Rodriguez on April 10, 2021. He won the fight by unanimous decision, with scores of 115, 112, 116, 111 and 117, 110. Basta Sports, J. Mello. Basta Sports, J. Mello. Kabayan, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel.